so hello guys how are you all doing i hope you all be doing great so today we are here to do the to do discuss about the complete interview experience of that is conducted by epam systems for all the new joinees and the especially for the freshers uh, role for the junior software engineer and uh, relatable to like that so as first uh, let me tell you about myself my name is anubhav mishra and i am a pass out of bharti vidyapeet college of engineering which is aff affiliated to ip university in new delhi and i am a pass out of uh, 2021 batch or btech in uh, it stream and uh, like i've been working in epam systems for almost like the past 6 months for the role of junior software engineer and uh, i've been working here on the technology of a uh, full stack engineer in sp specifically for the role in the javascript technologies and i'm currently working mostly in the node js part and uh, let me tell you about this company the epam systems company it is great a Mm, they treat their employees really well they are all the people all the staff in this uh, epam systems is really helpful whatever you ask they'll surely help you out if they can and recently also this epam system company is also been rated as a great place to work um, which is uh, a survey convert, uh, conducted by a company um, named as great place to work and uh, they have been certified as epam as a good company for all the employees to work in and uh, also for the people who are like uh, interested about the goodies and the welcome kit and laptop and all of that yes epam systems provide that too and uh, not only any regular laptop in fact they give you a really good specs laptop and uh, most of the time a new one only and if you want to see that you can check out my earlier videos and you can uh, refer to them and also they give a welcome kit to the new joinees and that also contains various things so if you want to see that also that i have also made a video on that you can check out the earlier videos on my channel so let's get straight on to the point what we are here for what like how does the epam system complete conduct the complete recruitment process so mostly it is like as you all know it is mostly off campus only in very rare case, cases it will be on campus mostly it is on campus uh, off campus and some cases in on campus like i've heard in south colleges in hyderabad or karnataka like that they they are they conduct on campus but mostly it's off campus only so on uh, at the time when i had come gone through the whole process there were uh, two coding rounds online coding rounds one gd one tr one hr and uh, the, in total it they were all five rounds for me but uh, from now what i have heard it is reduced to only three rounds which is one coding online round and one uh, technical round and one hr round um, yes so yeah this might be a little easier for you than for it was for me so let's get on to what were the rounds exactly for me so the first one round as i told was the online coding round in that online coding round they asked us 10 mcq questions and uh, they were related to like the dsa part data structures and algorithm basic questions on that basic to medium level and then uh, operating systems and the, the algos uh, fcfs and all of that and that dbms basic mcq questions and all of that and uh, on the later part of this round only we had three programming questions the first one was an easy question it, for me it was related to polymorphism and uh, in that it was something related to the plus operator that we needed to show how it were um, how we can display the pro polymorphism property for it and the second question was uh, related to array and strings part and it it was a medium level question it, they in that they basically wanted to check our problem problem solving abilities like how are we able to solve that question it wasn't not much of a data structures question based mainly focused on the problem solving part and the third question was a bit tricky one it was like uh, related to the backtracking as you all would have known it and the that question was around the medium level and in the second coding round uh, again we had 10 mcq questions and then uh, uh, related to earlier con uh, earlier co told concepts only like dsa oops and uh, 
OSD, BMS, and all of that. Easy to medium MCQ questions for that. And again, in this round, we had three uh, rounds, well, three coding questions. E first one was an easy one. It was again related to the OPS concept. Uh, it was related to inheritance concepts. And B, the, matlab, the second coding questions was a bit like you can say medium one. It was related to the stack data structure. And in that, there's a very famous questions of balanced balanced parenthesis. So yeah, that question was asked. And the third question was related to the dynamic programming. So this was also a little bit medium level question. Yeah. So moving on, I cleared all both, both of these coding rounds and then we have moved on to the GD round. And the GD round, as you know, the group discussion round, and it is an easy round most of the students or the people come got selected for the gd round got selected for further rounds also i guess almost 80 to 90 percent and for me what the topic they had given was around cyber attacks basically it is just around you just need to showcase your vocal ability like you are able to participate in the conversation you just need to give some valid points and just speak your part don't sit idle and ask you can ask other people's also question just like a regular group discussion but just don't sit idle give some valid points and you'll be good to go for the further rounds and yeah after this round the main showstopper round comes that is the technical round and this technical round for me it was about an hour yeah it's so it is quite long but uh, like let me go on with it like what the interviewer asked me the interviewer was very nice to me by the way i guess most of the interviewers that they take in epam systems are like really nice you can ask them without like hesitation they surely help you out so the first question the in the starting he just warmed me up like what did you do how are you doing and all of that what what is your college a basic intro then we moved on to oops concept so he asked me what are the basic four pillars or of oops explain me about them give them give me some examples about each of them so i give gave in all of them but he asked me in quite in deep of all these oops concept so you need to be very clear about that and these oops concept are asked in almost all the interviews so just get on with the, them very prop thoroughly and then after this he asked me about the sorting algorithms like which is the best one which has the high best time complexity space complexity and what do you think has the which sorting algorithm according to you has the best complexity so i asked uh, i told him that uh, i think that merge sort is the best and i gave my reason why so he told me okay and he then asked me to write the code for merge sort so yes then he shared me a screen and then he, he gave me the uh, this whole interview experience was happening on the microsoft teams so he gave me a link in the teams chat of a website where he was able to see my code so i clicked on the link in, and uh, i just tried, started typing on it and he was all able to see all of my code and he could edit my code also so i wrote the code and it ran successfully and like uh, after that he started asking me questions about the collections framework in java so he started asking me what is collections and like in that he asked me about array list what is array list and why is it used can you explain me the working of it and he also asked me about the vectors and he asked me why array list or vectors what is the difference between both why do we use either of them and which is the faster one and uh, after this he asked me about the hash maps and like what are hash maps and uh, uh, how does the hash map work in the back end basically the working of the hash maps he wanted to ask me about that and he also gave me a matlab, medium level question of, of hash map uh, uh, it was something related to strings and we needed to put some logic in it and get the characters out of that string and put it in a hash map and then return the count of each of the characters i don't re remember exactly but it was something like this so yeah and after this he asked me about the hash table what is the hash table and what is the difference between a hash map and a hash table why do we use either of them 
so i told him about hash map like they're not synchronized and they're not like thread safe etc and all of that so he was like okay so after this we moved on to the final hr round yeah so the hr was also very good and uh, we like we like uh, started off with the basic intro of myself only like from where i am what degree i have done from what college how many family members are there just to warm up me and then he started a question asking me questions about my projects in general like where did you do this project we have also where did you do your internship what do you learned in that internship and what were the challenges faced in the internship and the project that you had built and like basically when i had given that interview it was only 3 4 months after the lockdown so the yeah so he also asked me about the what how did you utilize your time during the work from home period like what did you do did you actually do something or not and we need to justify it we needed to justify it so yes also he asked me if possible you can did you can show me any of your projects by sharing your screen so i had made one of my portfolio website so i showed him and like also he didn't go into the technical deep part of the projects also but he wanted to just know if we had done it done it ourselves or not what are the challenges faced how did we overcome it and like how much time did it take to complete the project and or and the internship also and like he also uh, asked me a separate question about like uh, when tell me about an incident where you failed and how did you overcome it and uh, uh, overcome it and like uh, uh, how did you manage that what were the challenges faced during the that circumstance and all of that so yeah this interview round well hr interview round also went for around like 45 to 50 minutes so yeah this was also very long yes so i just i cleared out this also so after like 10 days i received a call from apan systems that you are selected so yeah a lot of people ask me question that i have given my interview it been a lot of days i haven't get got any response so guys you just need to ch- take a chill pill they'll definitely give you either a selection or a rejection mail they don't let you ha- they'll not let you hanging on the cliff like mm, not giving you any response they'll definitely give you a response but sometimes they can take time also because there's a lot of students that or the people that want to join epam systems so there's a lot of processing happening in the back end so yeah just give some some time so like also i wanted to tell how did i prepare for all this if you wanted to know so um, what i focused m- mostly on was like the lead code part i tried to solve a lot of easy to medium level questions on the dsa and the problem solving ability part and lead code is a great platform uh, for interviews if you want you can definitely check it out also i did follow the code chef monthly la- challenge monthly challenge and i did at least four to five questions uh, every month for it also and like if you want you can like go for any online course that you think is right any youtube course or any uh, website like coding blocks or coding coding ninja pep coding etc whatever you like because they'll provide you a structured way if you are not able to like work on your own in a proper structured way so you can refer to them also and or udemy etc anything you like for the and also focus on theoretical knowledge also not only the coding long, coding and the problem solving ability that is the prime importance part but i tend to notice a lot of people don't focus on the theoretical part which is as a lot in the coding interview questions in the starting specially so yeah besides the problem solving and the coding ability you need to focus on the back end part of it how is it working what is the data structure and what are the algorithms and time complexity space complexity etc and all of that so for any of the new candidates who are preparing for it and are going to give the 
interview for it in the near future i would like to say you can definitely refer the gfg archives part of epam systems there have been also previous interview experience there you'll also get to know a lot more about from them also i also folk i also like referred to that when i had to get interview so the yeah, gfg archives is a great place and also stick to the basics you don't need to worry or a lot of companies will come and go you can like give your best stay natural and don't let the fear come out in you and just stay normal you'll definitely get and also like focus on your projects also because a lot of time the interviewer could ask a lot of question about the projects deep into the technical part you know because like a lot of students it just copy paste the project from somewhere like, you know what i mean <laughs> and uh, when the interviewer asks the question about them they don't know anything about that so yeah you don't need to do that do the project on your own and prepare about that also thoroughly the last thing i'll just the a few tips that i would like to say Yeah, uh, the be confident, stay calm. There are a lot of opportunities. If you won't get this, which I hope do, you do, but if if you don't, there are a lot of opportunities. In fact, EPM Systems only, after only two to three months, they just conduct interviews and all of that. So if you want to join this company, you'll get definitely get a chance once again. And other opportunities also come in life. And just work hard, give your best. don't take uh, like it, it to your mind and get get the fear control you just stay in the no positive and move on and also look at the career pages of va- various companies if epam systems and all other companies also it will definitely help you in future because they most of them regularly update that page and uh, you can definitely check that out and fill the opportunities from there also and also you'll find you'll you'll definitely find well job one day so yeah just stay calm again i'm saying this a lot of times but just stay calm a lot of people get really nervous you don't need to get nervous just stay calm and stick to the basics go through whatever you can and you'll crack the interview i'm sure so yeah thanks a lot guys for listening me i hope i wouldn't have taken much of your time but like and you would have got something nice to uh, learn from this uh, video and it was worth your time so thanks a lot bye bye